So um, I I try to be very short because I have a lot of slides, but I know that time is very limited. So I'm going to introduce you. And now I have also to say that as there are many global goals uh, cities, global goals for for cities network uh, members, then uh, uh, you know. Um, some of the slides might be already, you know, uh, uh, seen and known, so I apologize about that. But I'm going to introduce how we are working with SDGs uh, uh, based on, on sustainability uh, uh, core principles. Uh, the first thing definitely is uh, that, that um, I, and I think it is the starting point uh, when it comes to you, you, you uh, when it comes to working with SDGs, is that they should be integrated way or another uh, into the, the um, uh, strategy or action plan of the city. And Tallinn 2030 strategy is the most important uh, framework strategy for our city, uh, which actually um, where all SDGs are uh, integrated and it is very holistic document. Because as you can see, uh, we don't have sectorial. Uh, uh, priorities or strategic directions at all. Uh, all those are rather value-based uh, goals rather than, than sector-based. And uh, we also stipulated the vision for our city, how we are working with, with the SDGs, how, uh, how we are working with the people. And as you can see, the first principle or, or first uh, uh, important element of our vision is that our plans and actions are driven by responsibility for the future. And the second is that Tallinn belongs to all, uh, belongs to all the citizens, to all the people who are living in, in, this, uh, uh, in this city, and that uh, we are uh, shaping our future together, which means that it, uh, um, it, is, it's, it should be very co-creative and, and uh, uh, process. And then also that we would like to be green and global, and we would like to be an example of, of green uh, uh, transformation. Uh, very briefly, uh, I'm just introducing you those six strategic goals we have. And then you can also see here, you know, how those goals are connected with the sustainable development goals. And again, I have to say that all those goals are actually interconnected. So, so it's not, it is not sector-based goal, but, but uh, value-based. So we have first the goal, which is about friendly urban space. And it is very much dedicated to urban planning uh, and, uh, and planning of, of public uh, spaces uh, and mobility. The second one is about uh, uh, innovation, about research, about piloting uh, creative ideas, but it is also about education. We have one more uh, additional SDG, which is culture, SDG 18 uh, in Estonia. And it is also about the protection uh, and preserving our uh, cultural heritage. Then uh, mobility is uh, related not only to uh, public transportation or transportation, but the main aim of the mobility is also to support healthy lifestyles, which is uh, connected to SDG3, for example, uh, and also uh, accessibility, which is related to SDG uh, 11, SDG 13, uh, uh, SDG uh, 1, because not all people might have uh, good uh, accessibility uh, either uh, by, uh, like even by, by public uh, transportation or not all of uh, Estonian citizens are, are using bike for, for, um, for uh, moving. Then uh, green transformation is related mainly to SDG uh, 13, and it is about protecting uh, biodiversity, it is about the green transformation, it is about circular economy, uh, SDG uh, 12, SDG uh, 15, uh, uh, 3, and, and others. And seven uh, is very important. And then uh, the fifth uh, strategic direction is uh, high community. And it actually addresses uh, the fact that Tallinn is a very multinational city. We have uh, a lot of, of different nationalities living here. So that, uh, that the aim is that our society is integrated uh, and that we have strong civil society and uh, there is strong sense of security. So the people who are living and working 
he retaliated the state and welcome. Uh, and uh, the last strategic goal is home that includes the street. Uh, and actually, here the main principle or goal is that that street should uh, that street should be safe place for everyone, which means food mobility, uh, which means that children can feel safe, uh, that they are not, uh, let's say, um, uh, frightened by by the cars, uh, 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 etc. And uh, when it comes to uh, just the general governance, then uh, we have uh, by creation of Tallinn Strategy Center last year, uh, we have created the sustainable governance model for the city of Tallinn. Uh, we have taken very holistic approach for implementation of Tallinn 2035, which based on SDGs, as I introduced, but we have also mapped uh, important stakeholders. We are cooperating and collaborating for example, like uh, universities or different citizens groups. And in general, we have also strategy coordination board, which include, involves uh, all uh, city departments. But when it comes to coordinating sustainable development work uh, in the city, then we have created urban local group for, SD, for SDG implementation. And that group uh, consists of the city experts and here, uh, right now, we are realizing all our uh, targets and indicators so that all of them are in line with the sustainable development and SDGs, rules and indicators. And then we have also different stakeholders that are representatives who are members of, of this, uh, this group. But now I would like to provide some, just, just a couple of examples on how we are implementing um, uh, SDGs principles in, uh, in the city of Tallinn, and I would like to provide three examples. One is uh, related to our participatory budgeting, because I also think it's, it is very important to actually. Then the participatory urban planning, how to transform former brownfield area into vibrant uh, community-based uh, based, um, district. Uh, and also, um, that is the third one. And then also participatory urban planning. And here I have to say that our square is 13.5 kilometers long. But when it comes to participatory budgeting, then I think it is very important that people can also decide, you know, what is important for them. And that sometimes uh, there are very small things that actually people need. Uh, to feel uh, better, to, to get better uh, urban environment, or to have more, let's say, possibilities for their activities. So Tallinn allocates around 1 million euro per annum. Uh, that the number is increasing um, together with the increase of, of the budget of the city of Tallinn. And the ideas of um, what should be financed uh, uh, through this participatory budgeting is uh, decided actually by uh, the, the citizens itself. And here we are uh, really using very, very broad communication uh, strategies and communication tools, uh, both uh, based on internet and, and over the website, but also physical uh, participation. And here in the photo, you can see that if you don't have access to the internet, then you can go to your city district uh, center and you can uh, make your choices there. And there is one, just one uh, small example, which is the promenade for August the Cat, <laughs> which was one of the winning ideas, which was proposed one of the, let's say, person living in, in uh, south, the southern part of, of the city of Tallinn. Uh, there is even now created Facebook uh, dedicated for August the cats. This is real cat who is very well known in that city district. And people thought that you know we have to improve you know like the, the possibilities for the cat. And we have to make you know this uh, this street safer so that cat will be safe as well. And when cat is being safe, then all the rest of the people living in that area feel safe as well and having more, let's say, <laughs> opportunities for, uh, for different activities uh, around. So, uh, this 
what we are now, uh, which actually under development, uh, because uh, it became this project became more expensive than it was initially planned, but we are doing it right now. And via this Facebook, we are providing the also, let's say, the feedback uh, to the people where we are and, and what is happening uh, right now. But also thank via different. Thank you, Krista. Just to, if you could present the other two examples in one, two yes. minutes. Thank you. So uh, the second one is uh, our square is uh, 13.5 kilometers long. And uh, this is um, actually linear park, uh, which uh, actually is crossing the city. We have divided this square into 11 pollinator highways. And it is actually former, uh, former railway town. And today it is also a transmission tower corridor. But now we have taken uh, away those high voltage towers and uh, we are now creating actually new green and vibrant uh, area for uh, in the city. Why this is so important uh, project for us? It is because that, that actually it is a very good example of cooperation. We have uh, in, together nine different type of activities going on in those different uh, uh, 11 uh, pollinator highways. Uh, we are building and uh, creating new community gardens together with the local stakeholders and people. We are creating new urban flower meadow, meadows together with uh, the research, together with the local community, together with universities, uh, and also actually uh, together with, uh, with urban bee, bee eating uh, association, for example. Then we are repurposing uh, those old uh, transformation powers into new uh, urban, uh, let's say, design elements, uh, like uh, you can see from here, for example. And actually, it was also like open competition. It was very public. People could provide their opinions, you know, what they want uh, in that area, what their needs are. And this is one example of, of, uh, of new <laughs> urban art. Uh, then we also collaborated very closely with uh, the schools around uh, these areas uh, uh, in order to map, uh, for example, the, the biodiversity and, and the plants were mentioned before. That is exactly what we have done, that we have mapped together with pupils and, and, and kindergarten uh, children what are the plants, what are there and what can be, can be done. And based on that, they created the urban art uh, gallery. Uh, we are also collaborating with Kara's uh, owners uh, in order to find new, let's say, um, uh, new meaning or new use for those old Soviet uh, time built uh, garages, which are mostly empty. We also actually are, you, he, uh, this is also, uh, you, can, um, you can actually enter by your, by your phone and then you can get the, get the information about the, uh, different types of, of, the, of the flowers and pollinators uh, there. And we have also created the uh, augmented reality app called Open the City. And actually here also people can get the information what this, how this area is developed. They can provide their, let's say, recommendations, their proposals, and they are getting uh, the feedback uh, as well. And uh, right now, we just recently finalized the big open competition called Place Buzz in that area, which was national uh, wide uh, open call. And uh, actually also the, the people could participate and decide what kind of, of new recreational and urban design elements they would like to see uh, in these uh, new areas in this new, new area uh, that is under development. We started to develop this concept in uh, 2017. So it took five years, negotiations, engagement, cooperation, before we could start uh, like build uh, uh, that area. So in that sense, I think this, this engagement this is, uh, and, and dialogue is very, very important to create. You have the space, the space everybody is happy with. Thank you um, very much. Uh... Krista, I'm going to have to cut you here <laughs> because yeah. otherwise we're going to end up uh, the time for the session. But I know yeah. that there's th this is another very interesting example uh, of working with the community on the on the re renovation of, of the Copley neighborhood. But I think what you were mentioning 
that just at the end of, of this example of you know the time it takes uh, to make these processes inclusive, uh, making different perspective and taking those times we're, we're talking with different stakeholders uh, really talks back to to the discussions that that were being had. Uh, I do invite everyone to look further into into this example from Tallinn. I'm sorry that we don't have the time uh, today. Uh, 